Hi, hello and welcome to autopostingtools.com. Uh, today I want to talk to you about how to upload images into the Craigslist autoposting software. So basically this software is a software that you can get on autopostingtools.com. It has many modules. Uh, one of them is the Craigslist autoposting software. So you go to uh, posting, Craigslist and Craigslist autoposting. And today I'm going to teach you how you can upload images to your uh, to your ads. So in this case, this software is going to allow you to upload up to eight pictures for your Craigslist ads. Uh, we're going to, we're working on it to add up to 24 pictures. So whenever that update is done, you will get it as well. So basically, um, here we have uh, to talk first about uh, posting. So whenever you make your post. Uh, you will have to upload a picture, so you have a new ad, you fill out the information, title of the ad, and then you fill out the information, uh, the body. Uh, so here uh, you will fill out everything else, and here is the part for the images. So there is three methods to upload images. I'm going to show you uh, which ones are the best, uh, uh, depending on, on each occasion. So here you can choose the number of images that you're going to upload, and whenever you change the number of images, it also changes the number of images that show up here. So I'm just going to choose to upload one image here. So the first and the um, and uh, the first method is basically search on Google. So you type here the keyword that you wanna that you wanna look for. In this case, uh, I do a lot of uh, computer training, so you put computer training or whatever thing you wanna look for, and then you click on search. This is going to open up the Google uh, search um, to show you different uh, images, which you can just go there. You select that image, you click view image, and then uh, basically you copy this and you put it onto the onto here image URL, and then you save your ad once you fill out everything. So this is the method number one, uploading images through uh, Google Images uh, search. So you put the URL and you just save your ad. This is going to uh, put the image for you. Uh, so this is method one. Method two, it consists on using your own images. So the, the easiest way to do this is basically you click here on, on Browse. This is going to open the, 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 the thing to search for the image. I want to choose images from this folder. And then I just uh, select that folder, and then I just select the image that I want to upload. So I click on open, and then uh, this is going to show me the URL of that uh, of that image in my computer. Now I have to upload this image into the internet, so when my program is posting, can download the image and change the name. So to upload it on the internet, I just click here on upload. What you will see is that you will get a new URL that is going to show up in this text box or in the text box where you are uploading that image. And here is your image URL. If you copy this onto a web browser, you will get the image uh, there. So that's the second option. The third option, basically, uh, this is the one that I would recommend you the most if you're going to be uploading your own pictures, is to use uh, this tiny pic or photo bucket uh, links. Uh, the reason we do it through these uh, different sites is because the images that you store here are only stored for two months due that I have uh, a lot of users. So if you put your images here, you will have to be re-uploading them every two months. So to avoid that, you just go to tiny pick and basically that is going to open this uh, tiny pick thing. You click here on browse. Uh, you, you, you will copy the, the folder URL where um, the folder path of your images, you click open, and then you upload the image that you want to upload. So let's say I want to upload this one. I click open, and then this is going to show you the, the, the file name there. And then you click upload now. This is going to start uploading. Um, so this is going to ask you for um, a, a CAPTCHA code. In this case, 
sometimes uh, it's video, sometimes it's audio. The point is that uh, they will tell you what you have to type. So in this case, it tells you that you have to type roller coaster. So you start typing roller coaster, and then you click upload now. This is going to upload the image, and basically you can just go to the direct link for layout, and you copy the URL, and you put it here onto the image URL, and you save your ad. So this is the step number, the method number three that is going to allow you to upload images, uh, and it's the recommended one. So you don't have to be uploading your images every two months. You can either do it with TinyPic or PhotoBucket. They work the same way. You will upload an image, and they will give you a URL that you will put here, and basically just by putting the URL here and saving the ad. Whenever this ad is going to be posting, it's going to grab the image from there, and then it's going to post it. So this is uh, how you can upload images. But now, uh, sometimes uh, you have to upload images, but your images are very heavy, or sometimes you want to include uh, your phone number in your ad. So that's not very good uh, if you put your phone number. So let's say, for example, this ad that I have here, modify ad. If I have my phone number here, uh, somebody can track me down. So if they copy this URL into Cracklist, this phone number into Cracklist, they will see all my ads with this number. So in order to avoid that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this, but I'm just going to show you how to do it. But basically, we are going to modify our images and we are going to be putting the, the phone number and the website into the image. So I'm going to show you how to do that. To, sh to do that, basically you select the image that you want to th that you want to modify, you drag it and drop it inside Photoshop and then you, uh, you, you put it there. So if you don't have Photoshop, you could use our software uh, to download it. Uh, basically, you go to here on the scraping, you go to uh, torrent scraper, and then you type Photoshop, and then you download it. This is just to show you where you can get it. Uh, so basically, that is going to give you different versions of Photoshop. You uh, you install you torrent, and then you download the file, and then basically you install it. So this I just will wait until I show you all the different links. So here is extracting the links from from the site, and then it's going to show you all the links here. So here you choose one version that uh, it's good for you, and then you install it, and that way you will get Photoshop. So now that you have Photoshop, what we're going to do is we're going to add our phone number, our website, and our services into this image. So the way that you do that is basically you create a new layer. Uh, so to create a new layer, you go onto this section here where you have this uh, new layer uh, button. So when you hover over it, it's going to say create new layer. So this new layer, you can work on other stuff here. So the, the first thing that I want to add is I just want to add like um, like uh, I'm going to select this part here. So to work with Photoshop, you select this selection tool and then you select this uh, um, paint tool, so you paint this. So you type that, and that is going to generate you, uh, like uh, it's going to paint that selection that you had before. So that way I have like a blank section where I can add content. So to add content, basically I just go to uh, type this uh, text tool, I select the text tool, and then I just put my telephone number there. So the first thing that I do before doing that is I just change the color to a color that I want and I just put it there. So the first thing I, I have to do is uh, put what is my service, light boxes uh, in cell, co uh, and then basically this is my service. The second thing I do is I just add my phone number. So phone number. So the reason that we do it in this Photoshop thing is that uh, we don't have to uh, worry about uh, Cracklist scanning our ads by uh, uh, scanning our ads for for phone numbers. So if we put our phone number in our images, we are safe because it doesn't matter if Cracklist read our ads because it's going to be pointing. Uh, it's going to the image is going to be showing into the into the the information is going to be shown into the image. So you, you type triple W and then you put your website and then you put dot com. So this thing uh, is the text. So I can just select this text 
and then I can just make it a little bit bigger well, bigger not smaller and then you just uh, move it around so for example this part here it's uh, a little bit uh, cramped so I'm just going to use this uh, paragraph tool and then I'm just going to increase this to 36 spacing and then I just make I just move it a little bit up uh, and I can I can make it this a little bit smaller so I just put it uh, 32 or something um, basically my phone number on my uh, website it's on my image so if I upload this ad basically it's going to contain my image uh, with my phone number and my website so uh, people will call me from the image instead of calling me from the uh, ad itself so that way I avoid correctly radars uh, telling me that I'm posting a lot because they have my phone number there so uh, basically that's just how you blow the images and how you add your phone number and your website into the image so basically the only thing I have to do left is uh, save this so I have to go and fill, save for web I select that and then here uh, you can modify the size of your image most of the times you want to do it uh, about 600 or 800 pixels depending on whatever um, on, on the image that you have so you put it 600 pixels so this is going to reduce the size of the image so because you're changing this the the size of the image is going to change to be a lot smaller so if you were taking a picture and the picture was too big you can change the size here to be 600 pixels or 800 pixels so the size is smaller and whenever you save it you are going to be saving a space and you will save it uh, you, you, you will save it in, in a lower size so it doesn't take too much to download the image while posting and that way um, you can just uh, save the save the time and um, the resources that it takes for your internet so I just saved this and basically here is my new image I can just upload this new image and then uh, I'm in business so that's the small tutorial about how to upload images and how to add your phone number and your website into the image the only thing that you will have to left to do is select that image and then uh, basically upload it uh, onto the software so you could just do that by going into tiny pick uh, selecting the image and then uploading it so Thank you for watching, uh, have a nice day, and I hope you like this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please like the video, uh, and have a nice day. Uh, you can get the software on autopostingtools.com. Thank you, bye-bye.